Uh, this is a tutorial on how to install the BandLab Assistant to integrate with Cakewalk DAW, which is a free DAW recording software. Um, the reason for this is that the web interface for BandLab.com, if you try to record in there directly, uh, if you have internet issues, um, your playback can skip and uh, become out of sync. So this takes it to a local um, offline recording through your Cakewalk DAW. So to download the BandLab Assistant, click on Explore. Scroll all the way down to Download Apps. Scroll all the way down and download the Desktop Assistant. Uh, you're going to need uh, Windows or Mac for this. So click on, uh, this is for Windows, and it will download. Alright, when you pull up the BandLab Assistant, you're going to sign into it. And then to install Cakewalk, you're going to click on Apps and install. Uh, it's going to ask uh, what kind of uh, add-ons you want to install. Uh, I don't really know too much about these, so I'm just, I'm just going to check all of them. While that's downloading, um, I just wanted to point out if you click on the gear at the top, uh, you'll see where your download directory can be set to and you'll want to make a note of that because that's where when you download that's where your project stems will download to. So here I am back on the library tab and I want to get one of these songs downloaded so that I can bring it into Cakewalk so that I can record my track for the project. So what you want to do is click on, on the three little dots here and click download stems and you'll see that it starts downloading uh, to that download path that we saw earlier there will be a BLX project file for uh, BandLab and then an audio folder that contains all of the, uh, the audio files uh, that are currently in the project. These are WAV files. One thing I wanted to mention is that when you click on download stems um, these audio files will begin downloading and if you try to import the project before they're finished downloading you'll only get half of the the track uh, that has partially been downloaded. So you may have to wait a few minutes for all of your tracks to finish downloading completely. You can view the size column and just click on refresh until you see the numbers for all the tracks stop incrementing. Okay, so I've opened Cakewalk here. And when it comes up, I usually just click on Empty Project. And then I come up here to File, Import, BandLab project and mine already knows uh, the download directory where I just saved uh, the stems to so I'm going to click through the folder that I wanted and then select the BLX file and it's going to load all of the tracks here into the DAW I'll say busy while it's working on them, so just wait for all these to clear. And you can play it back. I don't think my sound uh, card captured that, but anyway, um, what you want to do to get a quick track recorded uh, 
these two buttons here, sp uh, specifically the, the one with the, the recording, uh, will turn off the metronome when you're recording. So what you want to do is create a new track. So click Add. Select your input. Click Record Enable. And create. So this uh, record equals on lets you know that this track is armed for you recording. So click record and record your track along with what you hear. Uh, when you're finished, I'll just use this drum track for example. You'll stop the recording. I select this track here. I come up here to, to selection and then I go to file export audio and I select the source category is track it's got my drum track listed here selected and for band lab I usually have to set the bit depth to 24 so that it is a low enough size um, to upload. Uh, usually if it's 32 you can get some messages saying that your file is too big. So I'm just going to save it as a name. And keep in mind where it's, keep this drop down here so see where you're going to save it to. Um, Click export and I'll say mixing down audio. And now that's finished. One last thing I wanted to note in the Cakewalk program is that when you play, you'll see these numbers right here. Um, generally, when I record, I try to get that number somewhere around negative six. Um, if you keep that, a little bit lower um, this that'll keep your your signal from clipping if you're recording a loud distortion guitar for example so that could help um, some folks with their clipping issues so now I have my band lab collaboration pulled up and I'm going to click on the mix editor And then I'm going to, oops, what's going on here? Let's see. I have themes for some reason. Anyway, uh, I'm going to create, uh, add a new track. And drums, I usually select as voice mic. So now I'm going to go to that folder where I exported the WAV file to. And I'm just going to drag it right there. And then it, it puts the uh, puts the WAV file in the new track. Now that's that's how I uh, you know, I'm using Cakewalk to export and record while not recording through this browser.